Hi, this is Max from Dynamixes. In this video, I will give tips for users to export tracking results. Exporting tracking data will be useful when you're using a 3D software that Performer does not connect to, such as Blender, for example. Please make sure you're already familiar with Performer and have already created a tracking profile. If not, jump to our tutorial number one, creating a tracking profile with Performer. As I said, you will use exports if you use a software like Blender, for example, a 3D freeware. When you're using a 3D software for which no bridge has been developed, you can export your data. So how do I transfer these results without any bridge? I'll go to the session section and click on export selected range. A new window with export options will pop up. The first menu is a drop down menu. You can choose between exporting 2D or 3D points. For 2D export, it will be the reproduction of what it is in the video. The output is text or FBX formats. For 3D export, in single view, one camera tracking only, it will be a reprojection of our 3D mesh. The points will give you the impression to follow the face of the actor, a kind of simulation if you will. For real 3D, you will have to export 3D point captured with a multi-view system. As we have twice more information, we are able to reproduce exactly the actor's face. The output can be text, FBX or the 3D format. And then you have the tracking preview export, which will render the pictures with the tracking result. It is very useful if you want to compare your tracking result with a video edit with your animation frame by frame. We can also export animation as animation curves for very specific pipelines. This is how you can create fascia animation without any access to the bridge. For solving options, see our tutorial for advanced user refining your animation. So we'll proceed to an export in FBX format. You can update the number of frames per second. You can swap the position of points, you can also rotate per axis. You can also cancel the head motions. Head motions will be placed on a very specific marker entitled head. This marker will move and contain your head rotation. It will link these head rotations to this new additional controller. You can also select the pivot point. The pivot point is a part to select to stabilize head motions when there is no rotation of head. We usually take the top of the nose, as it is what moves less. This is our anchor. You can use TC. You can save as binary or ASCII files. So we are about to export our session under FBX format to 3D point. Now export. We'll create a new folder called 3D. Now the export is done. We are going to open this export in Maya, just to see how it looks like. Under File, Import, and we'll get our exported 3D file. So we get our face and we can play the tracking point as an animation. There is no head rotation as we cancelled it we can find the controller headset on the top of the nose in the list. Then you can play the animation in real time and link the tracking points to existing controllers on your character. You can animate your character with a point-based retargeter this way. This is all for managing tracking export from Performer. You can now check our tips for advanced user or export tracking in real time. If you need more information, please reach us at support at dynamicsys.com. 